Hello, and welcome to the Subsplash Church Management Check-In System walkthrough. From this screen, we'll go ahead and select the event that we would like to check individuals into today. So for this, we'll go ahead and select the small group event. From this next screen, if you are a parent checking in a child, you'll want to select a uh, search for your name rather. So from here, we'll go ahead and put in Bill. And we'll go ahead and select Bill Billings. From here, it'll open up the household as well as the contacts within that household available to Bill to check in. So for Bill, we would like to check in his children, which would be Jessica and Timothy. We'll go ahead and select those two and click on check in. From this next screen, we'll go ahead and it'll be prompted to confirm the groups that Jessica and Timothy will be checked into as well. So you'll see Jessica is already associated with the middle school group. If we would like to change that, we can select change groups and select a different group for her to check into. Uh, one thing to note here, these groups are, are customizable. You could have any group that is uh, provisional membership is selected for, uh, they would show up within this section here. So for this case, we'll just leave her as a middle school at the moment. If we select continue, Bill will then be prompted to confirm his emergency phone number. You can change it, but for now, keep that, hit continue. And then we'll also be prompted to insert a PIN number for checkout. In this case, we'll just select all ones. Once that's done, these two are now checked in. Now, if we go up here to the top right-hand corner, you can see uh, this is what we call the roll call view. We have two checked in. If we select this, we can then see Timothy and Jessica are checked in. Uh, if we click on Timothy here, we can see additional details. We can see who they were checked in by, as well as name tag notes for this individual contact. In this case, Timothy has a peanut allergy. Uh, we'll also see the groups that he's available to or the group he checked in with. Uh, over here on the right, we'll also see we can send a message to Bill if we wanted to. So in this case, if we chose to send a message, be like, send a message to Bill, it would send him, please come pick up Timothy from a small group as soon as possible or you could change this to whatever you would like. Uh, we could also send Bill a reminder pin number as well. If he forgot his pin number, we'll send it uh, a reminder pin to the emergency contact that Bill put in. It will just send him his pin number. Uh, we could also choose to reprint a label if Timothy, for whatever reason, uh, doesn't have his print, uh, his check-in label. We could reprint it here, or we could also have a leader check him out as well. Now, if we go back to the main screen, if you contact, if a contact comes to your event that is not already within your database, you can select the I'm new button. This would then direct the user to fill out a form, specifically the Kids Church registration form that comes pre-built with your church management dashboard. So from here, we can fill out some basic information, which I will do real quick. Once you have all your information filled in, you can then select Submit. On this next screen, it would then prompt the parent to select which individual they are. So in this case, we will select Jeff Smith. This will show the two contacts that are within the Smith household. We have both Jeff and Daniel. So in this case, Jeff would be checking in Daniel. We'll go ahead and select Daniel and select to check in. Then we will be prompted to select which group we would like to check Daniel into. So for this case, we'll select the elementary group for Daniel to check in. If we did not insert a number on the previous screen with the form, we would then be asked to insert a phone number for emergency contacts. So in this case, we'll just select all fives. And then also insert a PIN number. Once this is completed, Daniel will then be checked into this small group. We can also check this by the roll call view and see Daniel is checked in. Now from this screen, say Bill wants to check out his two children. He could come here, search for his name again, just as he did before. If he selects Bill, he'll be then be prompted to check out Jessica and Timothy. As you can see, they're both highlighted green at the moment, indicating that they have been checked in. We can then select them to check out these individuals and we'll insert the pin number that we inserted before. And we're done.